Hey Cameron, I'm Guys with SpeedCubeShop.com. Today we'll be taking a look at GAN's new non-magnetic 2x2, the 251 version 2. And we're gonna find out, does it hold up against its magnetic competitors? Let's find out. So when this was first announced, I have to admit that I was a little bit kind of disappointed because it seemed like it was just was GAN milking the 251 series, kind of like they did the GAN 11 series. I don't really know how many more variants of this they're gonna do or really can do, but it'll definitely be interesting to see if this is kind of the last iteration of the 251 series before they retire it or do a version three or whatever they're gonna do. So before we dive into more of my thoughts on the 251, let's go ahead and run through the overview. Looking at the cube, it has the very standard GAN frosted plastic. It's pretty much a staple look of all new GAN releases, unless you're going for the UV coating, which isn't even available in this cube as of now. The cool thing about the 251 version 2 is that it does feature a super lightweight design of only 47 grams, which is, again, really light compared to the 70-ish grams that the most popular 2x2s weigh in the same category. GAN does generously give you a little bit of adjustment with the 251 version 2. You can pick between two of the tension nut settings, either the 0.6 or the 0.8. The adjustments are pretty easy to make with the included tool. You just have to be careful to line up the prongs of the tool with the notches on the nut, gently press down and turn counterclockwise. You do want to watch out though because if you accidentally set it to the zero setting and you leave it there, your cube will 100% fall apart and it will be a mess. I do have to admit though that both the 0.6 and the 0.8 setting do feel a little bit too loose to me, but surprisingly it doesn't really like interrupt my solving too much, I feel like. So it is really loose, but the corner cutting is absolutely amazing on both settings. Yeah, I'm actually on the 0.8 setting right now and corner cutting is very, very, very good. So I guess it might have been a compromise to get the corner cutting to be this nice, who knows? Really quickly doing that sweet corner cutting action kind of reminded me of how nice the turning sounds. It has like a very nice, like clacky kind of deeper tone to it, which I really like. It just reminds me of kind of older school cubes, but then again, I am really old. So maybe that's just the me thing. The 251 is priced at $16.95 and it's available right now at speedcubeshop.com. I do have to admit that I didn't really think I would like the 251 very much compared to other competitors that are magnetic and very similar in price like the MGC Elite or the cheaper option of the MGC 2x2 magnetic. What kind of surprised me is that my times actually did not really differ on the 251 versus something like the MGC Elite. I think it's mostly because my TPS or turns per second is not fast enough to really like reap the benefits of a nicer cube. So I guess me just being kind of slower is working for me in terms of being able to use cheaper two by twos. Another thing is that the overall quality of GAN's products, I think is helping the 251 kind of stay in the running. It has a really like smooth buttery turning feel and honestly a break from the magnets isn't a horrible thing. I just kind of wish it was a little bit cheaper, but this is GAN that we're talking about, so what did you really expect? For reference, I average around four to five seconds with the Ortega method, and again, I get about the same times on this as I do a GAN M Leap, even for example. So I guess take that with a grain of salt maybe, or use that as a frame of reference, but honestly, I, I could main this cube and be very happy with it. I don't know, it'll definitely be interesting as more people get their hands on this, if we see more people using this or if it just kind of fizzles out and ends up being a bust. Only time will tell, I guess. So in conclusion, I do think the 251v2 actually does sort of work in a way. It might be a good option for those who just have to have a GAN 2x2 and don't want to spend the 37-ish some odd dollars the 251m leap costs. It's kind of a weird thing. I didn't really expect to cover this or really think it was actually going to be that good. This is by far the most time I've spent with the 251v2 and I don't hate it. I do think it'll work for some people, but let me know in the comment section down below. Do you think it's a waste of money? Would you get the MGC Elite? Or would you just go all the way up to the 251M Leap and call it a day? I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed it, please slap a like on it. Get all your cubes at speedcubeshop.com and subscribe if you want more content just like this. See you on the next video. Bye.